How to wash a car without a hose. Step one, fill a spray bottle with some DI water and spray down the car. Step two, fill up two buckets with water and put in dirt traps. Step three, grab your rinse-free wash and shine, rinseless wash solution, and pour two to three ounces in one bucket. Use your chenille microfiber wash mitt to stir the soap and make sure that it's evenly distributed. Step four, working from top to bottom in linear motions, wash the car. Step five, use a woolly mammoth microfiber towel to dry your car. Step six, grab some blazing banana spray wax with natural carnauba, spray on your paint, and wipe off for a beautiful glow and shine. If you'd like to tackle the windows, grab some streak-free window clean glass cleaner, safe for all windows, including those with tents. Spray down your window and wipe down with a waffle weave towel. And you're done. It's that easy to clean your car without a hose, without running water. You can do it regardless where you live. In an apartment, this is ideal. Just make sure you do it in the shade. Welcome to Dirty Shorts, Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'm Jason. In this series, we give you all the information you need within the first minute, and then we go heavily into detail on how to do the entire process. Let's get started on the details. So you can see here, I've got my quick load carrying caddy. This thing is very handy because we're out in the parking lot somewhere, and basically you can do this anywhere. So in order to keep all my chemicals and everything intact and easy to handle, I've got it inside this awesome carrying case. I've got my banana, blazing banana spray wax, my streak-free window cleaner, and my rinse-free. We've got a woolly mammoth microfiber towel here. I've got a spray bottle filled with DI water, a waffle weave microfiber towel, a chenille microfiber wash mitt, and a couple premium microfiber towels with the silk edging. Now, this should be enough to handle the wash here. I've also got two buckets filled with water already with dirt trap in each of them. I've got the lids because it was just easier to carry outside that way. Plus, if you really want to, you can slap one on, use it as a seat and wash your ride. So I'm gonna flip the lids off here and make sure these dirt traps are pushed down all the way. Next, I'm gonna grab my DI water. If you were gonna wash your car, you would do a pre-rinse, right? So I'm gonna give the hood a quick little rinse down just uh, just like a little pre-soak, loosening things up a bit. And then I'm gonna go grab some rinse-free wash and shine. Now this is a waterless wash soap, it's eco-friendly. It's a rinseless wash solution. So technically when you use this, you don't need to rinse it down with water. You can just wipe it down with a microfiber towel. That is how amazing this is. You, you can do this in an apartment, you don't have to use a hose or anything like that. It uses innovative rinseless technology to safely remove dirt, filth, grime, debris from the paint of your car. It basically encapsulates the dirt and rolls it off the paint when you wipe it down. So you're gonna shake it up, first of all, because you always wanna shake the product just to make sure that everything's mixed up properly. And you're gonna put, uh, let's make this one the soapy bucket. Put like one, two, I'm gonna go with three ounces for this one. The car's a little dirty. And that's really it. You're gonna grab your chenille microfiber wash mitt. You can kind of stir it up a little bit just to mix up that water. And you see it's a very cool blue color. So once you get a bunch of suds on this mitt, you can bring it right up to the car, start from the top to the bottom in linear motions, and just give it a nice rinse. And look at that, man, it just comes right off. So I like to do about two passes just because it's so dirty. You wanna rinse this out outside of the bucket, right? As much as possible to get all that loose dirt into grunt. Loose dirt and degrimes. Degrimes, is that a person? That's like an artist, right? Grimes or something like that. <laughs> you wanna rinse this out and then get degrime out of it. And then you're gonna pop this into your clean water bucket, right? So we're gonna dump that in and rub this up against the dirt trap to release any of that filth that was on the car. You can see it's all coming up into the wash water here. And then again, outside of the bucket, give it a nice rinse inspect the wash mitt, make sure that there's nothing on there that could harm the paint. Looks like we are good. And then you go back into your soap bucket, grab some more rinse free and continue to wash. Boom, nice. Now you can see this is really lubricating the surface. Like these bubbles are completely lubricated. And look at all that filth that's coming off tons of this, right? So at this point, I would look at this and inspect it and say, okay, I don't want this touching my car anymore. <sighs> my poor baby. So first we're gonna wring this out like before, right? Go back to the rinse bucket, rub it on the dirt trap. See, all that stuff comes right off into the dirt trap. Rub it twice for good measure, cause you know, you just do it. That's just what you do, you rub it twice. And then squeegee that out 
side of the bucket, go back into the rinsey rinse, get some of that, and finish the rest of the hood. Now, a quick tip is if you don't want to go back to your bucket so soon, but you've got filth on here, just flip the washman over to the clean side, and you can just finish those two extra strokes, and you're done. Okay, rinse that out, go back into this guy. Awesome. Now you would do the whole entire car this way, but I have another video coming up with my car for you guys, another dirty shorts on how to foam the whole thing. So we're just gonna work on the hood at this point uh, and save the rest of it for the next video. Now, once you're done with that, you can grab your woolly mammoth microfiber towel. This thing is huge. And essentially just lay that right on the hood. You could pat it out. The pat method's always my favorite because you're really not, uh, rubbing the paint too much. You just kind of pat it dry and then you can take the edge of this and just pull it right off of the edge here. Boom, look at that. Super dry, super wet, but very clean, also very clean. So the other way to do it is to just fold it in fours. Um, you can use it like this and just give it a nice straight linear motions. You wanna dry the same way that you wash in linear motions. And why do we do that guys? Put your guess in the comments. I know you like Blue's Clues, <laughs> or at least that was the last episode. I don't know what's going on here. But if you guys like Blue's Clues and you want to guess what, um, why we move in linear motions, I'll leave you three, two, one. Okay, the reason we do it is because if I were to pick up some kind of contamination on this thing, on the off chance, we cleaned it, so we're pretty good. But if we did, and I started moving this in circular motions, whatever little rock chip or piece of debris that was in here is now scratching your paint in circular motions. If you happen to accidentally do it in a line, it's so much easier to polish out later than a swirl mark. So that's why we do everything in linear motions and from top to bottom. And you can see here, man, the paint is freaking gleaming at this point compared to what it looked like. I can see myself in it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So you can be done here. You can just take it for a spin at this point, but I always like to add a little bit of protection to my ride. So I'm gonna go grab my Blazin' Banana Spray Wax. Now this is a natural carnauba spray wax that basically goes on with a spray and wipes right off and you get that beautiful warm carnauba glow. Um, this adds protection to your paint because it adds a thin layer of wax on top that is going to protect your clear coat um, and your paint. So what you have to do with this is just grab yourself a premium microfiber towel from your quick load carrying caddy. Grab your microfiber towel, fold it into fours. You're gonna shake up your product to make sure that all that carnauba is mixed up nice and good. And then you're just gonna mist a little bit onto the area that you want to affect with that beautiful carnauba glow. You're then gonna take your microfiber towel and you're gonna spread it out along the surface, right? So just kind of like spreading it, spreading it, spreading it. And you'll see it'll leave a little bit of some lines there. That's great. Uh, this should start hazing up if we leave it for a second because of that carnival wax. And you're just gonna flip to a clean side here of your microfiber towel. And we know this is completely clean because we inspected it. We know the car is completely clean because we just washed it and we dried it. There's nothing here. So we're gonna just buff it off at this point. Um, this, you know, you still kind of want to go in linear motions just in case. Um, I know the wax on, wax off thing, it's actually false information, Mr. Miyagi. But he did teach me the crane kick, so that is, that is good information, right? Okay, anyway, <laughs> we're going to keep going here and wax this thing off. Wait, wax this off? Who's waxing off? <laughs> and as you can see, we now have a beautiful warm glow on this side of the car. It is looking beautiful. All right, so normally you would actually go to the rest of the car, wash the car, use the Blazing Banana Spray Wax on the rest of the car, but I'm actually saving my car for the next Dirty Shorts video where I show you guys how to do a foam wash. So we're just gonna leave it at the hood for now. But if you were to do that, the next step would be to grab some streak free and hit your glass. So I'm just gonna show you one area of glass on my car uh, and we'll get to the whole car in the next episode. 
Now the name of the game here is to not get any scratches and swirls. So the first thing you want to do is grab your waffle weave microfiber towel and make sure there's no tags on it. And if there are, rip those suckers off because these can cause scratches on anything, even your glass. Then you're going to fold it into fours or eights, however many you like to count to. You're going to grab your bottle of streak free window clean and you're going to spray a little bit on here, maybe one spray on the towel and just same thing wipe in linear motions and you also want to roll the towel because see that dirt line there you don't want to drag that back onto the towel so you find a clean area and roll that side and you can continue this mo rolling motion pretty much for the whole window now as you'll see it doesn't even look clean that's because i have a dog and every dog owner knows that you'll never get everything completely clean but wait you actually can you just have to open the door if it was <laughs> unlocked you just have to open the door so now you can see on the inside here all of these little nose marks that my guy left on here so i'm just going to spray the interior here real quick go to a clean side of this guy spray once on here and same thing just wipe in linear motions and look how easily this cleans up it's crazy fast this is safe for tints it's safe for all window types um, and you can actually see what you're doing now. So once you're done, you can go to a dry side and just buff the remaining excess off to make sure you got every single part of that window. And that's the interior. And then we'll get that exterior. So now that I can see myself in the window and uh, my dog can see outside the window, I think we're done with this, this little tutorial here. If you liked what you saw, slap that like button definitely subscribe because you know we love subscribers and um thanks for watching we'll see you on the next how-to video we'll see you on the next dirty shorts chemical guys detail garage i'm jason this is my clean hooded car and we'll clean the rest of it on the next one so stay tuned bye